After a long time of searching, we finally did it. We found a speed optimization that is faster than Nitro Pack and also more affordable. On the left-hand side here, this is the RVing with Family website with no optimization. We get 19 on mobile. In the middle is with Nitro Pack. We get 48 on mobile. On the right is with a plugin called Accelerator. We get 27 on mobile. Switch to desktop, 83 without optimization, 95 with Nitro Pack, 99 with Accelerator. And this website is built with Elementor, and so we have to compete with that while we're doing these speed tests. And we're going to run these speed tests live during this tutorial so we can see how we got to these results. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. If you've been following the channel for a little while, you probably know some time back we did some Nitro Pack videos, and we found that Nitro Pack speeds up sites a lot, a lot, a lot. And this is Nitro Pack here. We have videos that go through that. But I think I found a faster solution that's even more affordable. It's called Accelerator for WordPress by Seraphonite Solutions. And the price starts at $3.06 euro if you pay yearly. If you pay for more years, it's even cheaper. If you pay for fewer than a year, it becomes more expensive, up to 6.13 euro per month if you pay month to month. You can also switch it to US dollars. And then it's $3.44 per month if you buy by the year. And then again, cheaper if you go more years and more expensive if you go less than a year. So it's quite affordable. And the speed improvements are comparable, if not better, than Nitro Pack, which we're going to see in just a second. So on our website, RVing with Family, which we're doing all Nitro Pack and speed tests before on, if we run PageSpeed Insights right now, the results aren't great. Let's just run it again. Get some new results here. And a mobile. We get a 19 on desktop, we get an 83. This is with nothing activated. So I've turned off Nitro Pack, which was formerly running on here. I've turned off any speed optimization plugins except for image compression. So if we go to the plugins, I'll scroll through here. There's lots of plugins. This is an active niche website that actually gets traffic and makes money. And there are only image compression plugins activated and the speed is not stellar, especially on mobile. So if we activate Nitro Pack, which was our previous and currently reigning champion for speed, let's find Nitro Pack here, activate that. There's a lot of settings that go into Nitro Pack and setting up just right. I have an entire video on that because there's lots of settings. And Accelerator over here has very few settings and it might just blow Nitro Pack out of the water as far as site speed goes. So let's do site speed again with having Nitro Pack installed. Just gonna make sure we have the correct pages cached. The home page. The home page is optimized. Home page on mobile is not. So it's going to trash this so it can re optimize on mobile. So it's a fair test. And that usually takes a few minutes. So I'll just pause the video while it, it fixes itself on mobile. And then we'll try the speed test and then we're going to run Accelerator to see if it's faster. And I think it just might be. Then after that, we're going to talk about how Accelerator works because Nitro Pack, as you know, is kind of a black hole. And a lot of people say Nitro Pack's cheating because they don't really understand how it works. Whereas Accelerator is making a very strong effort at letting you know how it works. Not giving you all the details because they don't want you to rip off their plugin, but giving you all the, the details on what it actually does and how it works so that you can have more faith in the product and not think they're cheating. So I'll be right back once the mobile version of the homepage is cached. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And I'm back, we have the mobile homepage optimized and the mobile, or the sorry, the desktop homepage optimized. So let's run our speed test again with Nitro Pack installed. And this now gets a 48 on mobile and a 95 on desktop. It used to be a lot better on Nitro Pack because when we first did those videos, it was getting in the 90s for mobile as well. And now it's a 48. The desktop improved, both improved, but not as much as you'd hope. And we have a lot of things down here in the red. In fact, only one of them's in the green. All the rest are in the red. For desktop, two are orange, most are green. Either way, it's not as fast as it should be on Nitro Pack. 
So let's try Accelerator and see what happens. Click on download for free, download that to our computer. We'll go into here and we'll deactivate NitroPack again. And now it's not gonna load the cached versions. That's where NitroPack gets a lot of its speed from. It makes very compressed versions that it serves for you when the plugin's activated. When it's turned off, it doesn't serve those anymore. And now we're going to add new for plugins, upload a plugin, and I'm gonna drag and drop Accelerator over here. Click on install now and then I will activate. And I'm gonna close a bunch of these notifications up here. We have to accept the end user license agreement by clicking that button. We can go to the begin setup wizard. Here it asks what functionality is needed, full optimization and caching or only caching. I'm gonna choose full optimization and caching. Go to next. It's better to be sure that the plugin works correctly on the site. This diagnostic tool verifies all required site mechanisms and settings. Click on start self-diagnostic. Hopefully these all check out. Failed the very first one. That's great. <laughs> Succeeded the next two. I wonder what happened here. Checking internal asyn asynchronous requests. Wrong data. I got a 200 response, which means it's there and the page is working. But I wonder what uh, the issue is there. Let's just ignore that. Let's go to next. See if it works anyway. Is the layout of the site universal for all types of devices? In brackets, is it necessary to separate the processing of mobile and other devices? So the layout changes, the layout's responsive. So we need to choose no to optimize for mobile devices as well, which is done separately in this case, or universal, it's all done as one optimization page. So we're gonna choose no to, to optimize mobile separately. What's the site's hosting performance? High, with this is usually a dedicated server. Medium, hosting on dedicated virtual server. Low, shared hosting. In this case, I'm on SiteGround shared hosting, so it's low for me. Do you wanna use a CDN? I don't have a separate CDN, so I'm gonna say don't use, but if you have something like Max CDN or Bunny CDN, you could enter the URL for it here. So I don't have a CDN. That's all, run optimization on all site pages. Click on finish and I'll run optimization. While it's doing that, we can take a look at some of the settings. And the team behind the Accelerator plugin really wants you to speed up your sites. So if you run into any trouble at all, because the settings in here you're gonna see are pretty intense. If you run into any trouble at all, getting your site super fast, contact their support and they will help you because some sites need a little more tweaking in the settings to make it work properly. So if that's your case, make sure you contact them because from my understanding, they wanna help every single site owner that contacts them to help them speed up their site. If you have the pro version, enter license key here and we go to cache settings. You can enable cache or disable it. Enable lazy revalidation, not even sure what that means. Revalidation, I guess maybe it goes back and, and checks certain pages over and over to make sure they're cached. The documentation for this plugin is quite good. So revalidation posts when changed. Oh, okay, so when things are changed, they cache it again. They automatically recache things periodically. So it's just making sure the cache is up to date and all the pages that need to be cached are cached. Accepted encoding, so I'm just gonna leave what's checked by default. Data compression, I'll use zip. Same parts separation, not sure what that means. That's over my head. So I'm not gonna to touch that. We're not gonna do any exclusions. This is where you can exclude paths, like exclude pages, exclude, exclude certain arguments. So if you have a question mark, like this one up here is a question mark followed by an argument. You can exclude when pages include those. You can include or exclude, sorry, user agents and cookies. You can also have different caches for different views for different device types, for example, for all these device types over here. Those are showing the high res, and these ones are all low res, and then we have mobile. Various parameters you can set up in here, and if you don't know what any of these are, you can see they're all pre-filled. So don't even worry about this if you don't know what they are. Just leave it as it is. And here's the cache revalidation. Every 15 days is when it revalidates automatically. If you make any changes, go ahead and save changes. I didn't make any changes. I'm gonna come up here, we have more settings, scripts and styles. You can choose to minify various things. We can flag scripts as non-critical, as special. And again, see it's all pre-filled, I didn't enter this in. So this is all done for you. I'm just showing you that it's here and if you're a developer, you'll know what you're doing in here, but a lot of this stuff I sure don't. We have general setting for the styles, everything's pre-checked. So really I'm not doing a whole lot of settings. We're just waiting for the cache to run on all the pages. And we'll see if it goes any faster. And we have options for HTML, for images, 
for videos and frames. Everything's pre-selected. CDN and advanced. We should not enable the CDN because we don't have one. Here's the file types that would be loaded through the CDN. Includes, excludes, and we made some changes, so I'll save those changes. So that's the settings, and unless you're an advanced user, you're not going to be changing a whole lot in there. Let's go to the manager under accelerator, and this is where we can see how many pages have been cached. You can see here we have a certain number of page visits with the free version. So until Friday, December 10th, we have 5,000 visits available. And then on Friday, December 10th, that'll be reset. So you have 5,000 more on the free plugin. So let's click on refresh statistics to hopefully see a bunch of cached pages here. And we see that a total of six have been cached so far. It's going to keep running through all of them until they're all cached. And we see the home page here has been cached. So that's awesome, both desktop and mobile. So we can go ahead and run our scan on the home page and compare that to what we got with NitroPack. So let's open one of these again. Copy the URL and let's take a look. So the results are in. We got 77 on, um, on mobile. And we see we still have some times in the red. It's not perfect, clearly. On desktop, we got 99. Everything's in the green. And these numbers will fluctuate. If you do multiple tests, they're, they're going to bounce around. But the 40, sorry, over here, the 48 on NitroPack compared to 77, that's a huge difference. Like, it doesn't matter how many times you test it, the fluctuations aren't going to be that big, where all of a sudden nitro is going to be better. And without any optimization, we were 19. And for desktop, 83, 95, and 99. So those are pretty big differences. So those results are really good. I prefer mobile to be even higher, maybe in the 90s. But this site is also built with Elementor, which means that it's a little more bloated than websites built with Gutenberg. Gutenberg would definitely load way faster with this plugin than Elementor would, but a lot of sites are built with Elementor. So this is kind of what we have to live with. And this Accelerator plugin, there's a page dedicated to how it works. And they explain the technologies that have gone into creating this plugin. They have 20 years of IT exp expertise and over 3,000 hours of work have gone into just this plugin, clearly over a number of years and probably spread over a number of people. But that's a lot of time invested in making sure your sites are nice and fast. So I encourage you to click the link in the description down below and come and check out this page right here and read through how it works. So you can convince yourself and be convinced that they're not faking it. And also a little bit of research has gone into this list right here where we compare it to WP Rocket and NitroPack. Let's do NitroPack first since we compared it to NitroPack in this video. One of the biggest things with NitroPack is that the scripts aren't always loaded. With Accelerator, they are. So one of the ways NitroPack speeds up sites is interactive JavaScript is not loaded right away. It's loaded when the cursor is moved. So your whole page will load. If the cursor is not moved, the JavaScript won't be loaded. It's loaded as soon as the cursor is moved. And so that allows, when you're speed testing, because the cursor is not moving, Google won't be loading the JavaScript. When they're speed testing and so it speeds up the site a lot so that's what nitro pack does accelerator doesn't do that it loads everything right away you're loading everything and it still does it faster than nitro pack so that's pretty awesome or for accelerator there's no external hosting that causes speed differences for example nitro pack has their website where they do a lot of the settings on there and a lot of caching is stored over there and with Accelerator, it's all on your website. There's no external service. And so if something goes wrong with the external service with NitroPack, it'll affect your site. With Accelerator, it won't. Page speed is on average about 5% higher with Accelerator versus NitroPack. The price of Accelerator is five times lower. We saw the price earlier, $3 a month or three euro. As you can see right here, 334 US a month. And the price does not scale. What I mean by that is as traffic increases, Accelerator doesn't charge more. It's still that same price. NitroPack charges more and more the more traffic you get. 
And again, we have no dependency on external service. The caching optimization for Accelerator is fragmented, and it's not for Nitro Pack. And fragmenting the caching makes sites faster. You can read more about it with this link right over here, fragmented cache. Accelerator splits your scripts into three groups, which Nitro Pack does not, it splits them into two. And splitting into those three groups makes your site load faster. Nitro Pack just has critical and non-critical. Accelerator is also safe for scripts, analytics, and tracking and advertising scripts that won't break your site. And compared to WP Rocket, this one's also true for both. Accelerator starts working without a whole lot of settings. We saw our wizard that we went through, didn't take very long. We did look at the settings, but we didn't have to change any of them. In fact, we didn't really change any of them, except for turning the CDN off. With Nitro Pack and WP Rocket, we have to configure a lot of stuff before it actually starts speeding up your site and doing anything. Page speed score is about 20% higher with Accelerator versus WP Rocket. There's no cache fragmentation with WP Rocket. Accelerator splits scripts into three groups. WP Rocket only has two, delayed and exceptions. Accelerator splits the styles into three groups as well. WP Rocket only into two. Lazy loading with Accelerator doesn't change the layout. With WP Rocket, they actually replace tags on the page for lazy loading and it can mess with your layout. Whereas with Accelerator, that doesn't happen. And so it's much safer for your layout. And Accelerator again is safe for scripts, for analytics tracking and advertising. So those are the big differences between two big competitors, WP Rocket and Nitro Pack. Check out this page right over here. How does it work? It explains how it all works. And I encourage you, since there's a free option, which you saw in this video, just come to this page, download for free and see what it can do for your website. See if it makes it faster. and. I'm willing to bet it will. And even if it did the same as Nitro Pack, you can save a whole lot. So I encourage you to come to this page and download the free version to see how it works on your site. I would recommend doing it on a staging site or a demo site, not on your live production websites, just because that's what I always do. It's always safer that way. But see if it can move the needle versus Nitro Pack or versus any other optimization solutions that you're using. There's a link to get here down in the description down below. Next up, check out these videos right here where I show you how to configure Nitro Pack and use it to speed up your elementary based websites. You can do both Accelerator and Nitro Pack and see which one works best for you. So make sure you check out that video because I'm sure you're gonna find Accelerator is faster. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.